Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video. And today we're taking a closer look at the best business laptop you can buy right now, the Huawei MateBook 14S. So before we get started with the review, let's quickly talk about the specifications because um, there are different versions of the Huawei MateBook 14S. There's an i5 version and an i7 version. We'll check out the differences a bit later. Now I've got the i7 version with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. There's also a one terabyte storage option and you can find more information about the models down below in the description. The Huawei MateBook 14S comes with a 14.2 inch screen with touch screen. Further, it has 90Hz support and an aspect ratio of 3 by 2 and a resolution of 2520 x 1680 pixels, which is 213 pixels per inch. The maximum brightness is 400 nits, so a kind of bright display and 100% sRGB. The i7 version comes with the 11370H processor and the i5 version comes with the 11300H processor. Both versions come with the Intel Iris Xe graphics. Now it's not a gaming laptop with a dedicated graphics, but this integrated graphics is actually quite powerful. You can use it for light video editing, light gaming, and it gets the job done quite well. Regarding the RAM, there are also two versions. There's a 16GB version, which I have right over here, and an 8GB version. Both feature LPDDR4X dual channel memory. Also, there are two storage versions. There is the 512GB NVMe option, which I have right over here, but also there's a 1TB NVMe option as well. And officially, if you get the 1TB option, it also supports Thunderbolt 4. It's the second USB Type-C on the left. And of course, this laptop is a working laptop, so it features a quite good battery. We have a 60 watt hour battery inside. So for normal office work, I would say this is seven to eight hours of usage. If you use some more intense applications, it's around about five to six hours. So quite good battery life as well. All right, so that's regarding the main specifications of it. There is much more to explore. So let's check out the laptop and let's check it out. So here's the Huawei MateBook 14S, as you can see in that greenish color, which looks really amazing. Now it feels pretty premium. The build quality of it is really good. We have the Huawei logo on top. Then you open it up here from this side. So you can open it also one-handed and there we go. Now the first thing you see right over here is the keyboard. It has 1.5 millimeter key travel and it feels really good. So typing on it is actually really convenient. I typed on my MateBook X Pro for like one and a half years all my scripts and yeah it feels really good and the keyboard is also quite durable. Now we have um, the touchpad right over here which has also a good pressure point and yeah um, Intel Core i7 and Iris Xe graphics. The power button right over here hosts also a fingerprint scanner as you can see you just lay your finger on there and it locks in directly. Now the webcam is not anymore here in the keyboard. The webcam is on top of the screen. Then um, let's turn it quickly around and let's check out here the other side. So right over here we have two fans. The fans take in air from here and blow it out on the back. There are two of those um, rubber plastic stands which you can see right over here so that it gets the air from the bottom. Then here you can see the down firing speakers. In total, we have four speakers inside of the laptop. So we have two subs and two tweeters and the sound, as you can see right over here, it's called Huawei sound and it sounds really fantastic. On the left side of the laptop, we have a headphone jack, a full-size HDMI 2.1 port and two USB Type-C ports. Now on the one terabyte version, the left one here is also a Thunderbolt port. Then let's turn it around and here on the other side we have a regular USB-A port. So I mostly use it to connect a mouse or my USB drive. It's also worth mentioning that the MateBook 14S comes with four microphones. So those holes you see right over here are all microphones and it also uses some AI technology to improve the voice clarity. As you can see, the MateBook is very thin and with the charger, the total travel weight is only a little bit more than 1.65 kilograms, which makes it perfect to use it as a working laptop on the go if you travel a lot. Now it boots really fast from standby and you just put your finger, you press a bit faster and you're locked in because the fingerprint works really well. The webcam is here at the top and it supports also Windows Hello um, face recognition to log in. That's also pretty convenient. By default, um, Windows 10 comes pre-installed like this out of the box. Now the screen has a really high resolution. I'm running here now a 
200% zoom, which was recommended by Windows. But we can quickly go to the display settings and I can show you, especially for people who are working, they mostly like to um, put it to a smaller scale so they can have more on the screen and also more windows. So this is how it looks like with 100% um, scale, but um, with 200, um, I think it's a bit too much. So 150 for me, so for my workflow is actually the best. I've set it now to 150% scale, which is actually perfect for me. And the screen is also a touch screen, as I've told you before. And as you can see, it works really smooth. I mostly used it to actually browse through my feed or if I print something on the 3D printer and I have a model to rotate the model, which makes it really convenient instead of using some um, key mouse combination. Now um, the screen wobbles a little bit of course if you touch the touch screen but um, the hinge is very solid. Even on my MateBook X Pro I was using the touch screen a lot and the display after a year feels like on the first day. And it also stays in position quite well and yeah the touch screen is working great. What I really like about the MateBook is that it doesn't come with any pre-installed bloatware. There is only the Huawei PC Manager pre-installed. And other than that, it is really very, very clean. Now, um, just like on the MateBook X Pro, if you check this out, so we have two partitions on the hard drive. So we have a Windows partition of 120 gigs and um, then the data partition here of 337 gigabytes on the 512 gigabyte model. I'm not a big fan of having separated partitions, especially um, if you install um, bigger applications or games, because then you have to create new folders, um, a new structure here on the D partition. But if you would like to change that, you could also do that after by software. But um, out of the box, it comes like this. Now here's the Huawei PC Manager, a tool that comes pre-installed on the MateBook 14S on most Huawei laptops, and it's actually a really great tool. Now, first of all, you can log in with your Huawei ID right over here. And it's currently set to German because um, my laptop is set to Austrian region. But anyhow, um, here you have some shortcuts and I'll guide you quickly through it. So first of all here you can for instance quickly connect to a monitor or just use also multi-screen collaboration to use for instance your tablet as a monitor, what we'll do later. And um, also here for instance you can do a quick check of your computer, you can also switch the PC to performance mode. So by default um, the CPU is 35 watts but in performance mode it's going up to 45 watts to increase the performance. So 10 watts extra but the performance gain is not that big depending on the application but anyhow if you need to get more performance out of the laptop you can switch into the performance mode. You can also do that by pressing the function button plus the P button um, which um, then will show performance mode activated. Anyhow, the performance mode is only working if the laptop is plugged in and has at least 20% battery. So on battery, without plugging it in, the performance mode cannot be activated. There's also another important shortcut and this is to switch um, the display refresh rate. So I switch it now to 90 Hertz and you definitely feel the difference if you're browsing through something. The Huawei PC Manager has also a built-in um, troubleshooting check section. And right over here, for instance, you can do some checks on the connection. Um, if the audio is not working, it does some audio checks. And actually this is really convenient. So if something is not working, if it's maybe some misconfiguration, you can just quickly run here a check and um, the tool will try to fix it. Also um, in here you can activate Huawei Share. With Huawei Share, just like with for instance AirDrop, you can um, send data like for instance pictures from your smartphone to your laptop um, without a cable, which is also really convenient. But you need to have a Huawei device for that, so either Huawei smartphone or Huawei tablet. But you can also um, use Huawei Share to transfer data, for instance, from one laptop to another laptop, which is also really cool um, if you work with someone and you want to quickly share um, a file. Another tool that comes pre-installed along the Huawei PC Manager is called Link Now. So I'm seeing this actually for the first time and this seems to be some kind of um, messenger like um, Teams or Zoom so you can have meetings where you log in with your Huawei ID. Now I haven't used it yet but it seems to be quite cool so you can start video calls. Now for video calls um, the position of the webcam from my point of view is much better. For sure it's a little bit tight to put the privacy cover so if you prefer privacy you probably liked the camera inside of the keyboard more but I prefer this position much more. It also comes with infrared so you can use it for um, Windows Hello sign-in which is um, really important also for some people and the maximum video resolution is 720p and I will now just quickly show you a sample of the front-facing camera and also um, I will talk a little bit so um, check out the audio quality of the four microphones of the MateBook 14s. 
So guys, here's a quick video test with the webcam of the Huawei MateBook 14S. And while it's recording right now in 720p, that's the maximum resolution you can get. Also listen to the audio quality because right now I'm doing a benchmark in the background and um, the fans are running at full speed. So just tell me down below in the comments, how do you like it? How do you think it looks like? I think if you have good lighting and everything is bright, then a 720p webcam is doing the job also quite good. All right, now let's talk a little bit about the performance. So how fast is this laptop? Now it's coming with the Tiger Lake um, processor, so the Intel Core i7 11370H version. As I've told you before, there's also an i5 version. Now also it comes with 16 gigabytes of um, DDR4 memory. So it's actually LPDDR4X with 3733 megahertz in dual channel mode. And the RAM is really fast, which is actually helping the integrated graphics and the gaming performance is also not that bad for a working laptop. Here you can see the speed of the integrated SSD. Um, it's an NVMe SSD, you can actually also upgrade the NVMe. Now um, we get here read speeds of up to 3500 megabytes per second and write speeds of around 2400 megabytes per second, which is also kind of fast. But if you want to have more memory or even a faster SSD, you can actually just put it in into the NVMe PCI Express socket. Now I did run a Geekbench benchmark on the CPU and as you can see we get a single core score of around 1460 while we have a multi-core score of around 5791. And the single core performance is very good thanks to the high turbo boost but the advantage over the regular U-series chips is actually pretty small in multi-core tests. The difference to AMD's current Ryzen processors, both the U and the H series, is that the multi-core performance is better on them, but the single core performance here on the i7 is actually really great. So guys, let's do the toaster test. So we are playing CSGO here on the Huawei MateBook 14S. And well, we are playing here right now in um, 2520 x 1680 resolution. So actually some pretty high resolution um, we're playing here with low to medium settings anyway. If you um, decrease the resolution, of course, you can go up as well um, with the settings. Anyhow, we get 50 to 60 FPS. Um, we are here in performance mode. Um, but also in balance it runs quite fine and um, here um, we have 60 hertz but you can also switch here to the 90 hertz refresh rate and the gameplay is actually quite smooth. So the cool thing is that you can also play games on the Huawei MateBook 14S as long as the games are not too crazy but I also saw some people playing Cyberpunk on the 14S which is really crazy. It was running basically in 720p and um, low texture details, but it's crazy that this game is even running here on such a thin office um, laptop. Nevertheless, guys, um, you will hear the fans spinning by playing almost any 3D game. So the integrated graphics and that processor is quite powerful for the size of the laptop. So you will hear the fans, but it's definitely not too bad. All right, then now let's try a newer title and we are playing Fortnite right now. So um, depending of course on where you are on the map, or how much is going on there, or if you're jumping out of the airplane, you have FPS drops. But on low settings, we can even get here up to 100 FPS, um, dropping then sometimes to the low 30s, of course, if there's really some fights or something in between. So it is playable. It's not like on a gaming PC, but um, if you're in between want to play something, it's definitely getting the job done. There we go, second round of Fortnite. The fans are spinning up and the hottest points around 38, 39 degrees. And you can see it very well right over here. So those bright spots. So those are the hottest parts of the laptop. Nevertheless, it switched to 45 um, watts now. So the performance mode, and it doesn't get hotter than 40 degrees. So Huawei did actually a really good job on the thermals of the Huawei MateBook 14S. Now let's take a closer look at the fans and the rear of the laptop. And as you can see, you can see right over here how it dissipates the hot air out here and here. So the two fans of the MateBook are doing actually a really good job. And if we check it out right over here, as you can see, the maximum surface temperature of the laptop is around 40 degrees or below, which is actually pretty good. Then now let's talk about multi-screen collaboration and how you can use the laptop with other Huawei devices, which is one of the most amazing things. 
So most of the time I have a big screen connected via HDMI or Type-C and of course you can do that but bringing a secondary screen um, especially with you when you're traveling is mostly not possible. Of course there are those small Type-C screens which you can also use on the laptop but still um, they're quite big but if you just want to have a secondary screen like um, in the tablet size you can use a Huawei tablet um, to use it as a secondary screen. In order to do that, you need to disconnect any external um, screens because it doesn't work if a screen is connected via HDMI. Then I quickly want to show you the PC manager here on the side. So here is also something, if you press the icon in the taskbar, it opens up the PC manager where you can see um, your captured screenshots, you can see the battery status, you can see um, the CPU usage and also down there there's multi-screen collaboration. Also here, um, there's a built-in screen recorder and you can activate and deactivate Huawei Share. You can take notes and there's some AI search. But multi-screen collaboration is actually one of the most amazing things. So you can mirror your screen. That means it will just um, show the same like um, on your laptop. So let's just quickly try this right now. Um, you just um, go to mirror your screen and it should automatically find the Huawei MatePad 11 or any tablet that's compatible with it. And there we go, it's now connecting to the tablet and you will see a code on the tablet. You just enter it right over here on the laptop and then you can connect to the tablet. So there we go and it's connecting and this is really amazing. So just imagine if you want to um, show something to people, you're working on the laptop, someone takes um, the tablet to show it around, it's really amazing. So you can just use it here as a secondary screen which is mirroring um, what's on your screen. But also you can use it to extend your screen which is the use case I mostly use it for. For instance, um, I can open here WhatsApp chat, I can open here um, a YouTube video while I work, I can watch some, some video or I can just use it um, to get more on the screen and like to have more windows there. It's actually really, really convenient. But guys, this is not everything. Last but not least, there's this real multi-screen collaboration which allows you to do much, much more. And this is um, sending data between the tablet and the laptop. So let's quickly turn this on. All right, I did now set up the MatePad 11 um, for multi-screen collaboration with the MateBook 14S and this is really, really exciting. So, well, um, just like a secondary screen, you can specify where you put your secondary device. You can put it on the left, on the right, top or bottom, however you want. And then you can just navigate like you would navigate to a secondary screen out of your screen with your mouse and then you can control the tablet which is really amazing. So as you can see I'm not touching the tablet but I can navigate here around the UI with my mouse. Also the keyboard is working if I press the escape button for instance here it's the back key and what's really cool is that you can just drag and drop files from the tablet to the computer. So as you can see I just copied that screenshot and let's open it up and let's check it out and it's really really fast. So for instance um, if you have pictures, let's say you use the tablet to document something in work then you have the pictures right over here. Um, you just switch on multi-screen collaboration which takes less than 10 seconds. You go in there and you can just drag and drop all the things um, from the tablet to your computer and you don't need to um, use Huawei Share which is so much more convenient and um, yeah it's a really cool thing I think it's really really nice now um, if you need it it really depends on the use case but if you have a Huawei ecosystem then those things work perfectly nice together but of course guys you can also connect your smartphone so you just have to um, press the connect button on the MateBook and it will automatically um, yeah, show this pop-up on your smartphone, on your Huawei smartphone. Then you go to connect and it's now connecting to the laptop. This is really, really easy to do. And as you can see, the smartphone is now connected to the laptop. Now this is really cool if you have some apps that are not available on Windows. For instance, um, if you want to use TikTok um, on your screen here, if you want to see some things like for instance a TikTok live stream but also do some work at the same time, I use it for that and it's really amazing. So um, TikTok web app is really bad, you cannot do many things in there but here you can do it. And that's also really cool, for instance also for chatting or something or if you just want to transfer your pictures or transfer any data from the smartphone to the laptop. 
So multi-screen collaboration is a very powerful and very useful feature and you can instantly also wirelessly access the data on your smartphone. And here you can go to the internal memory of the smartphone, copy everything. So especially also for people who are developing or putting a lot of APKs or stuff in there, you can just drag and drop it from your computer to the smartphone without it connecting a cable. So convenient and I think this is one of the killer features if you're in the Huawei ecosystem. But of course, then you need the laptop, you need a tablet, or at least a smartphone in order to use that feature. But trust me guys, it's really, really amazing. Well, but what about video editing and Photoshop? Now, Photoshop runs really smooth, um, depending of course what you do, and especially also video editing, um, which video files you render. So full HD video editing on the MateBook 14S is not really a problem if you don't put in too much effects. And here we also have some videos from my smartphone. So um, the Nova 9 is now connected with, via multi-screen collaboration. And the absolute killer feature is that you can go to the gallery from your, um, from your laptop and just drag and drop videos directly into Adobe Premiere Pro. So you just um, drag them and you just copy them in here. And there you go. And then you can just um, put them into your timeline, which is really, really amazing. All right, and summarizing, well, the performance you get in that form factor is really amazing. Solid build quality, as we know from Huawei, and also the touchscreen is a really nice addition. So if you have a Huawei smartphone, I would definitely recommend to also get a Huawei laptop because then it really makes sense with multi-screen collaboration. All in all, a really good laptop. I will leave you some links down below so you can check out the different configurations. And now I'm really interested in your opinion about the laptop. What do you think about it? Would you get such a laptop? And if not, why? And if yes, also why? So as always guys, big thanks for watching. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'm signing out. Bye.